Sam Jager, the star of Emmanuel and the Truth About Fishes and Parenthood. Sam, I have to apologize in advance for all the noise. Uh, Dave Grohl is uh, rehearsing directly above us. Yes, uh, and I think somebody's baking a lobster behind uh, The chef dance is happening over yep. here, too, so it's really, we're like at the nerve center of Sundance. It's intense. Uh, it's almost like we're at a, at, at a Sound City uh, premiere. It's Truly. pretty exciting. So is this your first time at Sundance? No, it's my second time, but I haven't been here in, I don't know, six or seven years. What was your first experience like? Bizarre. What I enjoy about it is it's uh, the thing I love, which is movies and telling stories, but it's set in in this wonderful mountainscape. I just kind of get tired of uh, being in Los Angeles. So can you tell me more, a little bit about Emmanuel and, and, and your role in the film? Sure. Well, uh, Emmanuel is uh, about this young girl and her family and uh, a woman who moves in across the street with this very strange past and they befriend her and uh, the woman across the street has this, this great secret um, played by Jessica Biel. She asked the girl to come over and, and take care of her child, only her child is a, uh, is a doll. And That's creepy. It is creepy. That's really creepy. Yeah. Okay. And with a title like Emmanuel and the Truth About Fishes, you know, you know, you have to see you know this is a Michael Bay film. <laughs> you, know, you know they're swinging for the fences. But this is definitely sort of on the on, on the creepier thriller side of things. This yeah. is the kind of movie that's going to have people on the, on the edge of their seat, like sort of really being concerned about how weird things get. Yeah, it's a, it's a bizarre world, you know, and, and it's, you know, one of the things that I like about this kind of storytelling is it, 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 is it slowly unravels piece by piece, and to see this woman kind of uh, reveal herself throughout, you know, the course of the film. Right. Well, Sam, thank you so much again for stopping Absolutely. by. Absolutely. Uh, Thanks for having good me. Good luck with everything. Thank you. I'm Devin Faraci. This is Badass Digest at Sundance 2013, the loudest film festival in America. And subscribe so you don't miss a single interview, and we'll see you here again for the next one. Cousin Pete, Uncle Al, and Jack heatedly discuss Superman's new beard and who else could have donned the cape. The Oscars may be Hollywood's biggest party, but every year someone gets left out. Gray Drake gives you 10 films that deserved better. Fandango's Dave Carger drops by as Ben makes his Oscar predictions and dishes on Jay-Z's composing for The Great Gatsby. Amy Nicholson and Jeremy Smith join Devin to round up who was a badass and who was just an ass in 2012. Get your film fix. Subscribe to Cinefix.